if you're only making 20 ounces of milk a day if it's enough to feed your baby then as long as you're getting the job done then that's all that really matters so let's get into it I'm gonna list three things in this video on the tips and tricks on how to produce as much milk as possible. Um, take it with a grain of salt. You don't have to do it. Um, you can try it if it works for you. It works for you. If it doesn't, then I'm sorry. Number one, the blue Gatorade. Number two, there is body armor. Number three, there are um, lactation cookies. Um, the body armors. I'm gonna insert a picture because I actually don't have any of these things in my home. I'm lying. I'm sorry. The one there's one thing I do have in my home. That's the lactation cookies. Give me a second. I'll go get it. Okay. So I'm back. So if you're one of those people who need to see the exact brand, everything, I got you, girl. This is the brand. It's called Munchkin Bookmakers, and this is it. So it's lactation cookie bites. Um, yeah. Honestly, they taste amazing. Um, they're not hard. And it's, it's just perfect. It's the best cookie ever. This is the box. Um, I actually bought, purchased two boxes. Alright, reason why I don't use them. One, the, the main reason why I don't use them is because I produce way too much milk. Me eating and drinking these things is only going to make me produce more milk. And honestly, my freezer is filled. My freezer has so much milk, I'm donating milk. So the number one key to producing so much milk is hydration. The one thing you're going to notice is in the blue Gatorade and in the body armor drinks, they help you for dehydration. That's why you drink it. After you work out and you sweat, you're dehydrated. You know, you, you didn't sweat and... It only came all out of your sweat glands. All of, you know, damn, I'm having a brain fart. But you guys get what I'm trying to say. Basically, once you sweat and, you know, you work out and stuff like that, you got to give yourself the electrolytes. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. You got to give yourself back the electrolytes and you got to get your hydration back. That, in turn, is part of the key to why we drink these things. So, if you're noticing that these drinks are working for you, Chances are, if you drink some water, girl, you'll be fine. You won't need to sit here and keep on buying these drinks. Because, at the end of the day, water is cheaper than Gatorades and body garments. Especially body garments. So, yeah, these drinks aren't expensive. I purchased, I purchased them from Walmart. Um, You can purchase it from Walmart and Target. Um, So, yeah, Amazon, whatever. However you want to purchase it. Just know, once you start pumping, you can't just stop. You can't swindle down. When you do... You know, it, it's, it's painful. It hurts. Um, actually, right now, I need to pump. Um, and typically, when I pump, I pump about, you know, anywhere between the very, very least is five ounces. Um, and when I say five ounces, I mean on each breast. So, that's five ounces here, five ounces here. Um, the most I've pumped on one breast was about... 12 ounces so 12 here 12 here and that gives you 24 also pumping frequently if you know that you have a low supply of milk pump more um however if you know you're not going back to work no time soon girl don't even kill yourself to make a whole bunch of milk if you're making enough milk to feed your baby girl you good that's my opinion though as i said do what works for you and your baby Anywho, if you if you have um, low supply of milk, just pump more. The reason why I say to pump more is because when your baby cries, your body naturally knows to like start producing milk, so your nipples will start leaking. Just like if your baby is on your breast, your body is not going to like not give your baby anything, you know. So once your baby starts sucking, that nipple stimulation is gonna produce the milk. Same thing with if you pump, even if like an ounce come out you keep doing it like you keep pumping as often as you can because that's just gonna increase your milk supply now the one thing I do want to mention is before you decide to pump right maybe an hour before 
drink a bottle of water a 16 ounce of bottle of water it don't even have to be a bottle of water just drink a glass of water but just make sure it's a decent size so you can see the results when you go to pump um so yeah that's what i do i tend to drink a bottle of water um the most milk i make is typically overnight so if my son goes to bed at 12 I'll wake up at like 4 and I'll pump by 4 and at 4 a.m. I That's when I have the most milk for whatever reason. I don't know what the reason is. I don't know the science behind it. But I have noticed that whenever I drink water before bed, my milk supply, when I go to pump again, when I wake up, it's ridiculous. It's the most amount of milk I can produce. So, yeah. So... Congratulations, Mama, and I do hope that you are able to produce way more milk to feed your baby and to create a stash. Um, this is just my stash, and I'll insert a clip of my stash for you all to look at um, so you guys can see that, you know, I'm not just BSing. In no way, shape, or form am I trying to brag about my stash. Um, I'm just showing you guys so that you guys don't think that, you know, my advice is just bs and i don't know what i'm talking about i just want to show you guys so um congratulations on your bundle of joy um i'm happy for you and your family and i hope that your breastfeeding journey is wonderful and if you have any questions be sure to comment them down below um as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe and see you in my next video bye